Welcome to Top Solid Mold. In this video, we are going to show you how to import a part into Top Solid. From there, we will check the part for errors and then insert it into a mold design document while applying shrink dynamically. And finally, once inserted into the mold document, we will check the part for undercuts and good draft conditions. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import our data. So we'll go to the open menu, we'll choose it, and we'll say OK. In this case, we're importing a parasolid file. And like that, our model's imported. Now, before we go and start designing our mold, I want to make sure that this part is valid. So the first thing I'm going to do from here is go to my Manage and check Geometry. And here I'll select the model, and here Top is going to run a test for us. Basically, it wants to find out if there's anything invalid in this solid model. In this case, there is not, so we can continue. So I'm going to go ahead and save my model. And I'm going to start a new mold file. So here I'll go to Mold. I'm going to choose Associative Mode in Inches. Say OK. I could launch it in a specific template if I'd like. And now from here, I'm going to go ahead and load my part. Now, when I load my part, the software asks me to select the part to insert. So I'm going to select my part. And now, I can just choose Direct Positioning if I want, which will copy it from this coordinate system to this coordinate system. Let's try that out. In this case, a warning message comes up, and it tells me, hey, there's been no shrink entered. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to say no, because yes, we need to add shrink to this. Now here I have three choices. One is I can just type in the shrink value I want. Another is I can choose from a material list. And then the final would be to use a differential XYZ shrink. In this case, I'm going to launch my material list. And I'm just going to choose a type of ABS, the average shrink rate of five and a half thousandths. Say OK. And now I'll do direct positioning. And at this moment, when Top Solid copies it into the mold document, it's applying that five and a half thousand shrink. Like that, I'm going to save my mold file. And then I'm going to close the design file because I don't need it anymore. And like this, we'll be working directly on a copy of our original file. From here, maybe we want to get familiar with the part. So maybe what we would like to do is check for any undercuts. So I'm going to check my model. And like that, the software shows us where the undercuts are. Nice, useful function. Maybe from here, we'd like to know if the model is adequately drafted. So I'm going to change colors real fast, and then go to Draft Analysis, and select my model. And here I ask the software to show me every face that's at 1 degrees or less. I can get local and zoom up and select just those faces, and you can see it's telling me what the draft is at. I can also say, you know what, how about 5 degrees or less? And now we'll see more and more geometry. So this way we can tell that, yeah, you know what, this model has been designed with injection molding in mind. So we can quit out of that, quit out of that. And like that, we're now ready to start developing our core and cavity splits. Thank you for watching this video to learn more about Top Solid Mold. Just to review, in this video, you learned about importing parts and checking the geometry's validity, inserting a part into a mold document and applying shrink, how to check the part for undercuts, and how to check that the part is adequately drafted for mold design. If you'd like to learn more about Top Solid Mold, please visit our website at www.clear-cut.com or call today to speak with a sales associate at 630-889-8055. Again, thank you for your interest in Top Solid Mold.